Welcome to the Nourish and Restore podcast with me, Nina, and my awesome friend, Nicole, where we bring all things nourishing and restorative to you, your body, mind, and soul. A chance for you to enjoy simple tools to help you live a happier, healthier, and more peaceful life. Join us in conversation as we explore our interesting theme for today. Namaste and welcome. It is me, Nina Sachs from Nourish and Restore with you. We have a new year, a new theme, a new topic. Today or this month, it is actually all about goal setting, kind of like how to get your year ahead, how to make sure that you stick with your goals and how to to choose what goals um, are right for you. So I am super excited. I love this kind of work. I love the visionary work. Um, kind of like when, when we think of the three doshas in Ayurveda, the Vata, the Pitta and the Kappa, I'm very Pitta with regards to that. I like having a vision, I like having direction, I like having purpose. But even for those of you who maybe mentally have a lot more Vata, where it's a lot more spin spontaneous um, kind of things come and go. This practice is also going to be super helpful and those who maybe have a bit more of a cup of brain um, who like to take things slow, like to process, analyze, make sure everything is 100% right, make sure that all the risks are cut out, you are going to again really benefit from doing this practice. So all you're going to need is very similar to what Nicole did with you last week. You're going to need a piece of paper, you're going to need a pen, a highlighter, if you need crayons, anything to color in you can. You can always push pause at any point in time in this recording. But what you want to do is you actually want to do this. The big thing is that kind of like when we have paper, when we actually visually see what we're writing, when we have pen and we put pen to paper and we kind of like connect the hand, brain, neurons firing, even though sometimes we think things in our mind, when we actually have it written down, we kind of like just understand it on another deeper level and we actually are able to take action a lot better. So that's why I'm going to invite you to literally um, join me as we do this practice together. So what I'm going to invite you to do is literally we're going to be looking at our whole health goals. So this today's little session is all about your health goals and what it means for you. And I'll say maybe choose two or three. Don't overwhelm yourself. May, there may just even be one. But I'm going to go with three um, and, and see where you are. Don't do more than three. Um, don't try to be uh, what they called an overachiever here. All right. Three personal health goals that are true to you. So for example, like one of mine is like this year, and we're going for a year, so kind of like December, well this time next year, this is the goal that you want to achieve. One of my things is to be able to do a pull-up. So whatever your three goals, health goals are for the year, write those down. And it could be anything about kind of like wanting to lose a little bit of extra padding, maybe you know specifically that you want to lose 5 kgs or 10 kgs, it might be that you want to figure out how to navigate a healing crisis that you're going through a little better. Maybe you want to reduce your high blood pressure. Maybe you want to reduce your anxiety from like an 8 out of 10 to like a 4 out of 10. Maybe what other health goal could there be? Maybe you wanting to ensure that you move more throughout the day. Maybe you wanting to ensure that your seasonal... Um, allergies stay away this year like what are health goals that are specific to you maybe you want to learn to run 5k's 10k's maybe you want to um, I don't know join a judo class kickboxing taekwondo kaipoera uh, maybe you want to learn tai chi like what is maybe you want to improve your flexibility um, again maybe out of a 10 maybe you're like a 2 out of 10 at the moment when it comes to flexibility maybe you want to build it up to like a 6 or an 8 out of 10 by the end of the year kind of like what is realistic and, and what doesn't what is it for you again it doesn't as much as it's great to have a very specific goal and it's good to have a smart goal so something that's specific measurable actionable um, realistic and time bound 
to me, I don't find that it is as important as the next step that we're going to be taking. So take the time to write down your health goals now. And if you need to push pause, push pause. And then a really important thing for underneath this, under each goal, is to say why you're wanting to achieve that goal. So, for example, if you have a look, my health goals, I've got a little arrow and underneath that it says why I want to do that. So I want to train to be able to do one full pull up by the end of the year. And the reason why I want to do that is because I know it's going to build self-belief and self-confidence in myself in a way that other things won't. Um, so again, push pause if you need to, write down like why you've chosen that it is you want to that to be your goal for this year. Don't overthink it. Don't um, procrastinate either. Don't think, don't, don't complicate it more than it needs to be. For those who are high in Peter, you know exactly what your goals are and you know exactly why you want to do it. And this practice is probably quite easy. For those who, again, have barter, you might have lots of ideas coming in and going and contemplating if this is right or should I change it. And just write down. Don't, don't overcomplicate it. Write it down. Just realize that the next part that we're getting to is really actually going to solidify um, this whole practice. And for those who, who are kappa and who are kind of like, really want to take the time and make sure that they have the goal perfectly and their reason why perfectly. Again, don't overthink it. Just get something down on paper. Um, a little bit of action in any form, in any direction is better than no action at all. All right. So again, if you need to push pause, push pause. And then when you're ready, what I would like you to do is I'd like you to draw three circles underneath. So you can see I've got three circles and I've labeled it one, two, and three. So you're going to do the same for your three health goals. Three circles, one, two, and three. And now what I'd like you to do in each of those three circles is write down the names of people, either that you know, Maybe they're famous people, maybe they're people that you know on um, social media who have achieved that goal. So in block one, kind of like train to do a pull up was mine. Um, and I'm going to write down the names of the people that I know who have achieved that goal or who know how to achieve that goal. And it might just be one or two names in there. You might have a list of like five, but go ahead for your first health goal, write down the names of people you know, might be famous people, might be people on social media, might be friends, might be family who've achieved that goal. Then when it comes to your second goal, again in the second circle, write down the people, the names of those people that you know have achieved that goal. Again, might just be one name, might have a list of five or ten um, maybe one of your goals is to run 5k. So who do you know in your environment who has achieved that, who runs 5Ks regularly or who does marathons regularly? Write, that, write those names down. And then you do the same for the third one. Now, if you've got a circle where you've got no names in there because no one in your immediate environment or who you're hanging out with has actually achieved that goal, what you might want to do is put a timer on your phone for maybe 15 or 20 minutes, go online and type in like who's used yoga to reduce high blood pressure and see what studios, what names, what teachers come up. Maybe it's like, you know, yoga teachers that help to, um, who've recovered from knee injuries or back pains, whatever the story is that you're looking. If you don't actually know of someone who's gone through it, Give yourself 15 to 20 minutes and check online what you find. Don't go down that rabbit hole um, by, by getting sidetracked. You just literally want to have a couple of names. All right, so I'm going to give you another few moments to fill in those circles, to get those names in. Again, we're not going for perfectionism. You can always come back to this. If in the middle of the night a name springs to mind, keep this next to your bed and you can write that person's name in the appropriate circle. And then what I'd like you to do is right at the bottom, list down the five people that you are currently hanging out with the most. Be it, again, 
in person, be it online, be it social media wise. But generally the five people that we spend our time with are kind of like the habits and the behaviors that we actually imbibe. So again, who are the five people that you're spending most of your time with? It could be on a day to day basis or on a weekly basis. Get those names down. Right, it shouldn't take you long. Literally, if you were to open your phone, you can also check in who is top of your WhatsApp, um, who are the people you've spoken to most recently. It might even be something in a sense like maybe you spend a lot of time in front of the TV or with Netflix. Netflix might even be a name um, because we, that's what, what where you're spending a lot of your, your kind of like communication, your time, not that you would communicate with Netflix, but you get an idea. All right. Now what I'd like you to do is if you've got that list of the five people that you kind of like hang out with the most is take your highlighter and highlight those names that are in your five people list and in your three circles list. Are there any names that um, match up? So just take a bit of time to highlight that. All right, so for example, oopsie, one I missed. That's what I've done. So the five people that have come up, I can see where they're hanging out. And what you wanna notice is, okay, is there a block where I actually don't have anything highlighted? And what I need to do is actually these people or one of these people that's in here, I actually need to turn that into a person that I'm spending a little bit more time with. And you might find that there are no similarities between the five people that you spend the most time with and the, the people that have the habits that you want. And this is where this year you want to try and integrate and change that a little. Because what happens is that when you start to spend time with people who are doing the habits that you want, having the lifestyle practices you want, the health practices, benefits that you want, you are going to be more likely to do that. So for example, if you want to run and you start spending more time with runners in your social time, you are most probably going to be more likely to run. If you're hanging out with party people, you are going to be more likely to party. Such a simple concept, so easy to understand, but often we, if we don't actually have it down and we see it visually, we're not inclined to make the changes. And when we realize that we need to spend more time with the people who do the habits that we're wanting, the goals that we're wanting to achieve, we can actively invest our time and our money and our energy into those, um, into those people, into those spaces, into those communities. So. It might be something as simple as grabbing your neighbor to help with it. Maybe they're doing something and it's easy to hang out. Sometimes we've actually got to find a community, a club where we, that we can join. For example, if you want to start volleyball, you might have to join a volleyball club. If you want to learn healthier habits, you might have to join a healthier habit club. If you're wanting kind of like to learn recipes, you might have to go to a cooking course. So it's that kind of mentality idea that we want to do if you want to learn cooking but you're not actively hanging out with people are cooking the way that you want to cook you it's going to be more difficult to get into that behavior whereas if you just sign up and you go join that eight-week cooking course um, or follow that person online and and join some of their online um, workshops or activities you are going to be more likely to step into that behavior that you want to so that is pretty much a lot of the practices we're going to be doing this month have a read again through your health goals check if they're still resonating with you ask yourself why you want to achieve it not how you want to achieve it. we're not worried about how you're going to get there we just want to know why um, because when you know your why you're more inclined to be willing to follow through with it then what you've done or what you're going to just recap and review is like who are the people that you either know personally or who you know on social media or who you follow or who you admire that have the habits that you want out of those three maybe there's even a name that kind of like comes up regularly in that 
then that person needs to be in one of the five people that you tend to hang out with the most if you really want to make that habit stick this year. Very, very simple. It just means we're not saying that we're not going to be friends with any of the people on our five people list. It just means that we're going to start prioritizing ourselves and what we want a little bit more. That's it from me. I look forward to joining you next week um, as we go a little bit deeper into our goals and where we're heading this year. Lots of love from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you for listening to our Nourish and Restore podcast today. To find out more about Nourish and Restore, visit our website or Facebook page, nourishandrestore.yoga. For more information on working with me, Nina Sachs, visit www.yogaaa.co.za and to work with my awesome friend Nicole, visit www.lov-me.com. Links will be in the show notes. We look forward to catching up with you next week. Namaste and have a nourishing day.